So if you are building a website and you are using cookies to track some type of analytics on users that are not specific for core functionality of your application, typically you have to add a cookie banner, especially if you live in the European Union. You should be doing it if you live in the US anyway and your application is based in the US. But these cookie banners basically tell people that, hey, we're using cookies to track how you use your application. And you have to present that and allow people to reject certain cookies. So just the fact that I have Google Analytics on this application means I need to add this banner. I need to allow people to reject and accept the cookies that are tracking. I need to give them a, an ability to basically talk about the cookies we use, which ones are required, which ones are analytics. And then you have to give them the ability to later on change those. So it's not too much work, but it is just some additional stuff that is annoying to get set up. And then secondly, you have to understand GDPR laws to make sure you're compliant with, you know, the tracking of their data that you're using. And it turns out that it's just much easier not to use Google Analytics in the first place. Okay. So what I'm going to show you is a different alternative approach for using analytics on your site, just to get a little bit of feedback of like when users are hitting your application. I'm going to show you my approach that I'm doing. It's like the, the cheapest, hackiest way that you can do it in a Next.js application. But I'm also going to share with you a nice tool that I haven't quite used yet, but it's kind of an uh, alternative to Google Analytics. So here is my new application I've been kind of working on. It's a little side project. You can check it out at ytchaptersgenerator.com. But the idea is you can come in here, paste in a YouTube video URL, and it'll generate the YouTube chapter links for you. Don't know how useful this will be. Hopefully it, people will enjoy using it if they're content creators. But you'll notice I don't have any type of cookie banner. I don't have like a cookie preference because I'm not using any type of Google Analytics. So how do I track when people hit my production site and how do I tra track what URLs are hitting? Let's go over to CloudWatch. Again, I like deploying everything to AWS because I like wasting time, but you also get a lot of cost savings in AWS when you deploy stuff. Okay, and out of the box, when you deploy to AWS, all of your console logs are going to be put into something called CloudWatch. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to find my chapters generator. Okay, right here we have prod YouTube chapters site. All of the logs that my Next.js application produce will go into this log group. And then you can actually go through and see everything that your backend is producing. Now, this is obviously not the best way to kind of go through all your logs. Okay, and there's just a lot of noise in here um, because of how we're deploying some stuff. But if you go to log insights, this is a thing that I'm using currently to kind of track analytics on my YouTube chapters application is using that log group that I talked about. You can actually go and query for all the logs based on a particular expression here. So I'm basically saying, look through all my logs and find the stuff that has a JSON object that has a URL as a property. And then I got some code to basically extract that using regex. And then I can actually group all of those logs using um, this stats count star by URL. So down here, what this allows me to do is I can check in the past five minutes, the past 12 hours. I think you can go back to like weeks and months. So I can check in the last month or something if I wanted to. And just try to figure out what people are hitting what URL. So notice here we have two hits for this generate endpoint. We got one hit for the pricing page and one hit for the process page. Now, again, this is like the most rudimentary way to get analytics on your site. But if you want to get a, a feel for like, is your site growing? Are you getting hits? This is one approach you can do. Now, the way I did this, you're probably going to laugh um, because there's better solutions out there, is I went to the middleware function of my Next.js app router. And I basically said, hey, when anyone hits one of these endpoints, go ahead and just log out this type of tracking JSON object, right? So I have a URL that tracks what URL the person hit. And I also just put a type here in case I wanted to do further parsing of logs because there's a chance there's another log in my system uh, that could have URLs in it. Um, and that's basically how I'm doing my analytics. It took one line, what is this, seven, eight lines of code to basically add a nice way to just to get analytics on the pages that I care about. I mean, technically I can come in here and add terms of service. I could add like, the privacy policy page, but I just want to know like how many people are actually hitting um, my application and that is how I'm doing it. So obviously this approach is very, very basic. It may not meet the needs that you need. Um, I think there's ways to also take the request and I can get the refer if I wanted to request headers, 
I don't know, I could say get and like refer or something like that. So if I wanted to get information about like what site did people come to my site from clicking on, like did they come here from Facebook or Twitter? I believe there's a way to do that. Um, I don't really care at this point about tracking that information. So if you don't want to roll your own hacky solution, there's actually a free service. They have a cloud service that costs money, um, but it's called Matoma. Um, I've heard people leave comments saying that this is a pretty good way to do it. So the cloud solution is $23 a month, which honestly I would not pay. Um, I'm just going to do my own approach because it's good enough. But for a larger company that has multiple websites they need to track, maybe this is a better approach. But the idea is that this doesn't use cookies to track your information, right? So you don't have to like worry about the privacy of your users being leaked to Google and stuff like that. But the reason I want to share this is that they have an on-premise. I would read the fine print because it looks like they do have some type of like random dollars per year thing here. So uh, just be worried about that. But but I think they have like a Docker Compose that you can potentially use. Like if you wanted to set up an Nginx um, backed Matoma site, you can do this. Basically just set up a VM, Docker Compose up this, this file. And I think that'll set up their entire service on your machine, which, which allows you to kind of like go into your application and you can actually have your analytics forward requests to your own personal Matoma setup. Okay. So basically you own all your data and you can get analytics. Now I will say I haven't had a chance to actually install this or check it out. Um, so looking at pictures though, it looks like it's pretty, pretty cool. Like it looks very similar to Google analytics and not as confusing as Google analytics. Um, but you still get tracking of like what type of browsers people are hitting your site with. You get nice graphs of like who's hitting your site over time visitor math, social media network, stuff like that. So just the stuff that like, now if you wanted to like maybe in the future run ads for your service, then yeah, understanding like what social media networks uh, is getting most popular views here, then yeah, maybe you want to run ads on Twitter or Instagram based on your, your how many people are coming from social networks. But overall, I mean, this works for me, for my basic needs on a side project. And if you're doing something larger, then yeah, you probably want to just pay for a service that does all this stuff for you. But again, I, on this channel, I try to save as much penny pinching money as I can. So that is about it. Uh, last final remarks is be sure to check out the service if you just want to kind of play around with it and give me some feedback. Again, this is like an alpha side project I'm just trying to work on. Um, any feedback would be cool. Secondly, if you have a particular favorite approach for doing analytics on your site that doesn't require having cookie banners and it doesn't like violate people's privacies like Google Analytics kind of does, Leave a comment. Let us know what you like using on your personal sites. And is it free? Do they have free solutions out there that other people can use as well? Because I, I think a lot of people are looking for free solutions where they don't have to pay 25 bucks a month just to get analytics. Cool. That's about it. Have a good day and happy coding.